You might think that this video isn't for you, but wait a second, let me explain. My name's Angela and I'm a visually impaired designer. If you like this video, please subscribe below. Grade one braille basics, the alphabet, punctuation, and numbers. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So good to have you all back. Today I'm going to be talking about Braille. In my research, I found that only 10% or less of people actually know Braille who are visually impaired or blind. But a lot of people really rely on Braille and being able to be independent and do things on their own. Now you might think that this video isn't for you, but wait a second, let me explain. There's lots of different people who have good vision who would benefit from learning Braille. And so the most obvious group of people who might want to learn braille is people who are visually impaired and blind including people who are losing their sight and could potentially become visually impaired or blind in the future another group of people who could really benefit from learning the basics of braille is someone who's a parent or another family member of someone who is blind or visually impaired this can really help create a connection and show support to the person who needs that the third group of people i want to point out are teachers and leaders of organizations, church or school. There's so many times when I was in my schooling where there was not a single person who knew anything about Braille. And I'm not saying you had to spend 50, 40, 100 hours to learn Braille and be literate in it and use it on a daily basis. I'm just saying like if you watch a simple video like I've created here, you can learn the basics of Braille in 10 minutes and be able to really understand how things work. And the last group of people that I'm going to mention that is probably the one I'm most passionate about is designers, architects, and anyone who's in a creative field where there might be people who are visually impaired using their designs. That could include product designers, that could include user experience designers, graphic designers, all sorts of designers and architects. I don't know anyone in my design community who knows Braille well enough to understand it. Now there's a lot of situations where people could add Braille to things if they just knew a little bit more about it. They wouldn't be so intimidated to add it. Adding Braille to something really just increases the amount of people that can use that design and doesn't really affect the other people who cannot read the Braille. In this video, I will be teaching you about grade one braille. In another video, I will teach you about grade two braille and the differences between grade one and grade two. So to start off, I'll explain what grade one braille is. Grade one braille is where everything is spelled out with letters and there's nothing that is contracted or shortened. It's just straight out spelling the letters and then there's also numbers included and some punctuation and that's it for grade one braille braille overview first let's talk about what braille is exactly braille is a system of raised dots used for reading and writing for mainly those who are visually impaired or blind it is read with the fingertips and braille is embossed on a thicker cardstock paper and is not colored but has shadows which makes it visible to the eye. Each letter or character is formed by a special pattern of dots known as a braille cell. The dots are numbered from 1 to 6 from top to bottom. Dots 1, 2, and 3 are on the left column and dots 4, 5, and 6 are on the right column. Letters and characters are written with a combination of these dots. Shown here is a super enlarged tactile braille cell I created out of wood to help teach the letters and characters. There is a baseboard with six holes representing the cells and circular discs to be used as the dots. It can be helpful to have an enlarged braille cell to learn with first before reading normal size braille with your fingertips. I do sell these wood braille cell boards on my website if you're interested in getting your own. I'll link it in the description below. In elementary school, our teachers would use a similar method 
with a muffin tin with six holes and tennis balls to represent the dots. Helpful patterns. Let's look at some helpful patterns before going into specific characters. The letters A through J are the base of all the characters. If you can learn these letters and get them solid, it will help you with the rest. A through J use varying combinations of dots 1, 2, 4, and 5, which is the top four dots in a cell. The 10 letters K through T are the corresponding letters in order with a dot 3 added to it. For example, K is an A with a dot 3 added. L is a B with a dot 3 added, etc, etc. The remainder of the alphabet, excluding W, U through Z, are the corresponding letters in order, with a dot 3 and 6 added to it. For example, a U is an A with dots 3 and 6 added. L is a B with dots 3 and 6 added. W is the only exception to the rule, and is dots 2, 4, 5, and 6. Some helpful ways to remember a W is, it is either a J with a dot 4 added, or you can remember it as a vertically flipped R. Next, we will look at punctuation. If we take A through J, excluding E, and shift them down a row in the cells, we have nine punctuations, including a comma, period, and exclamation point. We will go over all of these when we break down all the characters. Then we also have an apostrophe, the same as an A, but on the bottom row of the cell, so it is dot three. And a hyphen is the same as a C, but on the bottom row of the cell, which is dots three and six. Next, we will take a look at numbers. A number is first determined with a number sign, which is dots three, four, five, and six, followed by letters A through J, with an A being one, B is a 2, C is a 3, all the way to an I being 9, and 0 is a J. It is assumed if you don't begin with a number sign, it is a letter until you put a number sign. And then while doing a number, you want to switch back to letters, you would put a letter sign, which is dots 5 and 6. So until you put another number sign, it would be letters again. Now the last character we need to cover is a capital letter. A dot six represents a capital letter, so if I want to write my name, I would put a capital letter sign followed by the letters of my name. If I want a whole word or body of words to be in all caps, you would put two capital letter signs at the beginning together followed by the letters. Now let's break down the characters and learn them individually. The alphabet. A is dot one, B is dots one and two, C is dots one and four, D is dots one, four, and five, E is dots one and five, F is dots one, two, and four, G is dots 1, 2, 4, and 5. H is dots 1, 2, and 5. I is dots 2 and 4. J is dots 2, 4, and 5. K is dots 1 and 3. L is dots 1, 2, and 3. M is dots 1, 3, and 4. N is dots 1, 3, 4, and 5. O is dots 1, 3, and 5. P is dots 1, 2, 3, and 4. Q is dots 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. R is dots 1, 2, 3, and 5. S is dots 2, 3, and 4. T is dots 2, 3, 4, and 5. U is dots 1, 3, and 6. V is dots 1, 2, 3, and 6. 
W is dots 2, 4, 5, and 6. X is dots 1, 3, 4, and 6. Y is dots 1, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And Z is dots 1, 3, 5, and 6. Punctuation. A comma is dot 2. A semicolon is dot 2 and 3. A colon is dot 2 and 5. A period is dot 2, 5, and 6. An exclamation point is dot 2, 3, and 5. Open and close brackets is dot 2, 3, 5, and 6. A question mark is dot 2, 3, and 6. Open quotation mark is also 2, 3, and 6. A asterisk is dots 3 and 5. A close quotation mark is dots 3, 5, and 6. An apostrophe is dot 3. A hyphen is dots 3 and 6. Numbers. 1 is a number sign, dots 3, 4, 5, and 6, plus a A, dot 1. 2 is a number sign, dots 3, 4, 5, and 6, plus B, dots 1 and 2. 3 is a number sign, dots 3, 4, 5, and 6, plus a C, dots 1 and 3. 4 is a number sign, dots 3, 4, 5, and 6, plus D, dots 1, 3, and 4. 5 is a number sign, dots 3, 4, 5, and 6, plus E, dots 1 and 5. 6 is a number sign, dots 3, 4, 5, and 6, and F, dots 1, 2, and 4. 7 is a number sign, dots 3, 4, 5, and 6, plus G, dots 1, 2, 4, and 5. 8 is a number sign, dots 3, 4, 5, and 6, plus H, dots 1, 2, and 5. 9 is a number sign, dots 3, 4, 5, and 6, plus I, dots 2 and 5. 0 is a number sign, dots 3, 4, 5, and 6, plus a J, dots 2, 4, and 5. An overall summary.